a pocket warmer based on iron. For the experiment, 3 grams of activated charcoal, 16 grams of iron powder, 3 grams of sodium chloride and 3 milliliters of water are needed. Then all of the solids are added to a beaker and mixed. Ordinary charcoal cannot be used. Then the water is added and mixed in. A thermometer was added to the mixture. Within 10 minutes the temperature did rise to 74 degrees C. It stayed at this temperature for 15 minutes. The following reaction takes place. The iron is oxidized by oxygen from the air and forms iron hydroxide in the presence of water. Simply said, it corrodes or rusts. The salt acts as an electrolyte and increases the speed of the exchange of electrons. The activated charcoal absorbs the oxygen which then reacts with the iron. In addition to that, it increases the distance between the iron particles, so the oxygen can be absorbed faster by the mixture. To show that oxygen is needed in the reaction, the beaker is covered with foil. Then the temperature dropped. That's why the mixture can be put into a resealable bag and by opening or closing it, heat can be produced if needed. Next, the foil was removed and the temperature did increase again, but only by a few degrees. Obviously, the majority of the water had evaporated or was used up in the reaction, so more water was added. It should be taken care not to add too much, because then the amount of the emitted heat becomes less. Then the temperature went a bit higher. By adding water occasionally, the mixture did keep at above 50 degrees C for about 4 hours. After 6 hours, the temperature was still above 30 degrees C. In the end, the color of the iron hydroxide can be seen in the mixture. Pocket warmers, which are only for single use, do use this principle, and all substances in the reaction are non-toxic, which is why it can be disposed of in the regular waste. This was the pocket warmer based on iron. I hope you enjoyed, please rate and comment. If you want to know how to get to minus 23 degrees C quite fast, you can watch my video about it here, or you can watch my latest video here.